Perspective. It's tough to have perspective when you shank a drive or miss a crucial putt on the golf course. But for Lauren Thibodeau, or Tibby, as she's known around here, the game of golf is just a matter of perspective. And I started getting migraines, and it just was to the point that like I couldn't even, sometimes I was go down to like line up my putt, and I couldn't, it was like the pressure in my head was so hard, and I just knew something was up. In December 2020, after suffering from worsening GI symptoms throughout the fall, Tibby was admitted to Boston Children's Hospital for additional testing and was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, a chronic autoimmune disease. While undergoing treatment, her body reacted poorly to medication, causing Tibby to undergo medical catatonia, an altered mental state that included slowed movements and limited speech capabilities. Basically, the best way to describe it is that I was have times where I'd be stuck in like certain positions. Like once it was like this, like, and I would stay there for like a long time. I would forget like simple, how to do simple tasks, like brushing your teeth. Like I'd have to, I had like a sign that said like how to do it in the, in the bathroom, like how to brush your teeth. Like it's just crazy to think about all that. Um, I think at first I was on the internet Googling a lot of things, um, a lot of the medical terms her mom was kind of thrown at me. And again, we didn't know how serious it was until after Christmas. They had this one treatment that was called ECT therapy, and they basically, um, like, they shock your brain and, like, induce a seizure. It was kind of like a last resort, and in that situation, like, there was no way I was gonna, I mean, you never know, like, I might have gone out of it eventually, but it would have taken a long time. She was forced to medically withdraw from the university in the spring of 2021 while undergoing treatments but her Cardinal family back in Louisville continued to support her from afar. We didn't care at that point again about if she's gonna play or not. We were just concerned if she's gonna come back or not to Louisville because we love her to have her around. I thought she's in the best hands possible. She's in the Boston Children's Hospital. You know, we sent her flowers, sent her balloons, anything just to let her know that we were thinking of her. One day I bought like a monkey, like a stuffed animal, and I sent it to her and I bought one for myself as well. So like we were always connected when we FaceTime, it was me, it was monkey, she had her monkey. So like we talked a lot and just like, you know, I tried not to talk about her health because I tried to like get, get the focus on something else. Electroconvulsive therapy brought the old Tibby back, but the doctors were cautious. You, you didn't want to get your hopes up, but when her mom you know, text me like, hey, like Lauren's, Lauren's back, it worked. Um, just the emotions that went through me and, and watching the emotions of uh, her teammates when I told them like, hey, like she's getting back to herself. Tibby's road to recovery included physical and speech therapy. And in just a few short months, she was swinging a golf club again. She competed in her first tournament back in May, 2021, just four months after being discharged from the hospital. I know I have like one picture of like ULGC and like the snow that was like really pretty. And I feel like I would like look at that and that just I mean miss my team a lot. So yeah, I don't think of there was like there was a lot of motivation just like just trying to get better. I feel like that was kind of my focus was just to get healthy. It wasn't um, and just to see like whatever I could do after going through everything. So yeah. That's what I would say. <laughs> you know, separating golf, like just being around Lauren, she makes you want to be a better person and she's still grinding it out. She's like, yeah, I know that happened to me, but I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like I'm focusing on golf. Like I have new goals and you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a strong woman and I can take care of, you know, anything now. One word to Tibi would be, or one message uh, to Tibi would be, um, stay you, be always you, and just stay in my life because you made my life much better. <laughs> and now, while she's on the course, she's got a little perspective when she's having a bad day. <laughs>